Hi, it's Jordan with FlexiJet, and I would like to take you through a quick demonstration of the FlexiJet 3D digital templating system. First of all, I would like to show you the hardware of the FlexiJet. As you can see, the FlexiJet sits on a tripod, and it's designed with the user in mind, from the basics such as the ergonomics, how it fits in our hands, to the fact that we can measure 360 degrees all around, including both straight up and straight down to the ground directly below the FlexiJet itself. The touch screen on the FlexiJet allows us to control a number of the functions of the FlexiJet, including all kinds of things like auto leveling. So auto leveling is the first and most important function of the FlexiJet. This takes a quick read of where the FlexiJet sits in the room. Because of that, we're able to use the FlexiJet to check the level of cabinets without any additional tools, to check the plumb of walls, where they lean in and out, um, and also see our different surfaces put together in 3D. So I'd like to demonstrate a very basic measurement here, just measuring this section of countertop here, and our procedure is uh, very straightforward. From my tablet, I can choose this function here. This is set up uh, specifically for countertops. This is our countertop button. I'll name my countertop, and from the FlexiJet, I'm now prompted to measure a single point on the countertop to set up a plane. So this is in contrast uh, with some other systems out there. We don't need additional aids or a, a multitude of points. We can simply measure and start going. I'm going to choose my multiple lines function from the FlexiJet. I've got two targets that I've set up ahead of time to measure the front shape of this. I'm going to measure the shape of this countertop here as well. You'll note that when I measure two points, it automatically starts a new line for me. So I'm efficiently able to continue measuring. And now looking at the screen, of the tablet, you'll see how these points come together, showing the FlexiJet's position as we go. And now I'd like to show you from the screen of the FlexiJet, I can choose this function up here, and this allows me to auto connect or auto fillet these corners together right from the screen of the FlexiJet. So we're building our drawing as we go. You'll notice that this backsplash here has tile applied to it already. With the FlexiJet, our advanced laser technology means we can measure directly on this semi-reflective surface. It's a gloss ceramic tile without the need of tape or additional aids. So I've selected our scribe or polyline function. I'm going to measure across this back wall. Now one of the other features that's uh, very important and uh, a, a great advantage on our FlexiJet is that we're computer controlled. And what that means is not only can we control the FlexiJet by standing behind it here and manually moving it, we can also use our Xbox controller to control, aim, and uh, trigger the FlexiJet. So I'll continue on this next wall. You'll notice even at this angle, the FlexiJet's able to accurately measure these points. Continuing on through my measurement, I have different speeds where I can use this remote control. And again, because the FlexiJet has, um, has auto level at the start, these points, even though I'm measuring slightly up, are going to be assigned down to the level that we've set for our countertop. From my tablet here, a few things I can do. I can rotate my view just so I'm looking at this straight. Simply by touch, connect these corners together. And so what you see here is we have a basic countertop assembled and put together. We have a function here called auto dimension. Auto dimension puts all the measurements, including all the individual sections of the back walls there. Everything we need to see and more. Um, but we can also manually choose some dimensions here, simply clicking and defining our location to put those and, uh, and annotate our drawings as we wish here. So as I continue to put my drawing together here, I'd like to show you one of the most advanced features of the FlexiJet that goes beyond what typical measurement systems can do. So other systems are able to capture these points. The FlexiJet is able to go a step beyond and take what we have on our page back out so that we can see it visually. So I'm going to choose this function. It's called Show CAD Point. And I'm going to have the FlexiJet show me this back corner. So you'll notice that even though I didn't measure exactly in that corner, I've connected those two pieces together and FlexiJet is now able to show me those points to visually verify exactly what we've measured. We can do this again, moving back to some of these other corners as well. It'd be a little bit tough to see from that camera angle there, but I've got a visual reference of all those, including, for example, this front corner here. Let's take a visual reference and see that the FlexiJet is going to point exactly to where we'd like it to be. And you can see the FlexiJet laser is exactly there on that corner where we expect it to be. Now, this goes a step beyond, again, what other systems can do. We've captured some measurements. We've used the FlexiJet to verify those. 
FlexiJet also captures a picture of every single point that we measure. And so what this means is looking at the computer screen here, if we flip over to the View tab, I'm going to click on Show Measured Points. And just by hovering our mouse over top of these points, you can see that we have a photo reference of every point that we measured. So there's no question about uh, did we measure on the back wall or did we accidentally measure on uh, something else. We can see exactly what was measured. This is critical for solving those communication breakdowns between uh, the shop production and the field templators to ensure that there's no miscommunication, there's no question about what was measured. We always know if we measured the cabinets or if we measured the overhang by pulling up the picture for a visual reference of what was measured. So I'd also like to show you a couple more things uh, just on the editing side, very straightforward for us to use this. If we'd like to change our color and add some additional overhang, of course, uh, very simple for us to do that. Again, just using these touch functions um, on the front of the screen here. And of course, I can use these functions to connect those together um, and can put myself together a completed drawing here just like this. So if we'd like to go ahead now and take this to the next level, I'd like to measure some of this back wall here. With other systems, we're, we're often required to take that system, physically flip it, lose our connection to the original drawing, and simply measure something differently, often requiring the aids of special targets, even a line laser, so extra equipment, just to be able to measure on the vertical plane. With FlexiJet, we're able to do that exactly where we lay here. We can do that simply with our backslash button here, but choose this section here, and I'm going to call this my backslash. And so I'm just going to define right on my tablet right here, from left to right, where this back wall is going to be. And so I've defined that. I, all I need to do is uh, simply start measuring. In this case, again, I can use my Xbox control or I can control the FlexiJet manually. What the Xbox control does is it means that I can get exactly into where I'd like to go here. So um, again, simply measuring uh, these points on the wall here. I'll go ahead and measure these. It's going to be a little bit difficult for myself to grab this on the top, but should be uh, able to successfully measure the FlexiJet. Even at these tight angles, we're able to get accurate measurements. Coming around the other side, it's going to be a little bit tough to see from the camera angle there, but we should be able to successfully grab this point as well on the underside here of the countertop, just to ensure that we've got this accurate. And we'll go ahead and bring some points down the left side here as well. And there's a couple uh, interesting functions that we can do with our software. We'll bring some points across the, uh, the surface of the countertop here using this super fine function uh, to aim the FlexiJet to exactly what we'd like to see. So we'll bring the FlexiJet through on this last little section here. And uh, when we've got the FlexiJet where we'd like it to be, I'll trigger that measurement. Just like you saw me do a second ago from the screen of the FlexiJet, I can also do from the screen of the tablet here. And that's, I'm going to connect these corners together. So as you can see, we've measured a rectangle on the screen here. We've also measured our countertop in two dimensions. And here's where it all comes together. Simply by clicking on our home folder, you can see, and they get the benefit of measuring in 2D, but seeing the results in 3D. And of course, we can manipulate this through and see that our different countertop sections are coming together. So I'd also like to show you how we can use the FlexiJet to check the level of cabinets and existing countertops. We're going to use this using our distance point to plane function. And with the accuracy of the FlexiJet's laser, we're able to measure right on the surface of this existing countertop and get an accurate measurement of exactly where this countertop might be lower or higher. And you'll see these come up on our screen as uh, variations uh, from that normal that we set when we first set our countertop plane. And so no additional tools required. The fabricator or the templator has everything they need in the FlexiJet to get these accurate measurements. Likewise, we can do these on back walls. So if I wanted to switch over to my back wall folder here, um, I can do that right from the screen of the FlexiJet and simply grab these, uh, these, these points to plane right off this back wall here. So we're giving fabricators and templators the tools they need without having to uh, carry additional tools in their toolbox. One more detail I'd like to show you on this back wall is how we can pre-program installation symbols to streamline the measurement process. So in this case, I'm going to choose from my installation symbols under electrical box cutouts. I'm going to choose a single plug box on the vertical. Now this has been optimized for a shop that might be cutting this with a water jet, but these are fully customizable by the individual users and with the assistance of our FlexiJet team. So simply by aiming the FlexiJet at the center of this plug here, again this is optimized to grab a point right from that center, 
I can simply measure and insert that cutout symbol just like that. So one more thing I'd like to show you, and this is, um, this is part of our commitment to continual development with the FlexiJet. We built a machine that we're extremely proud of and we continue to uh, improve and refine it and what it can do every, every day. And we're, we're working hard on that. Um, and one of the things we've released this year um, is our FlexiJet Smart Remote app. And this is a very powerful feature for us. This lets us actually control the FlexiJet from your smartphone. So we can pull this up and as you'll see on here, I can uh, pull up a remote control joystick here and aim the FlexiJet. So you see the FlexiJet responds immediately to my movements. There's no lag between that. And that's a very cool feature for us. We can also use this to pull up uh, and capture pictures. And in fact, we can capture pictures attached to a particular point. In this case, I'll simply capture a site picture and save this directly into our drawing here. You'll see that pops up on the screen of our tablet as well. But what I'd like to share with you is one of the, the, the coolest and most advanced features of our smart remote app. And this is called rotation mode. So simply by taking this smartphone app and aiming it where the laser is, simply by tilting my hand, you'll see that the FlexiJet follows the direction of where this is pointing. So for those people who may not be as comfortable working with an Xbox controller, uh, we have another option for them that allows them to uh, visualize exactly where they're measuring. Where do you want that countertop to end? I'd like it to aim a little bit over to the right. So we can use the technology to make our on-site life easier.